Hello everyone, we've got a great video in store for you today. What are we doing? We're doing top five centerpiece ish for a 55 gallon. The 55 gallon is a cool tank. We've got a couple of them right there in the back corner. They are four feet long, 12 and a half inches wide, and about 21, 22 inches deep. So it's an interesting size tank in that it's fairly narrow, and some of the fish you might want to put in a 55 might not look all that great given how narrow that tank is. And so I think we've picked five that will go really, really well in your 55 gallon. Not only that, if you want more information about the fish that we feature in this video, check out the description below. We'll have a lot more information for you there and some species profiles you can take a look at. All right, so number five on the list, it has to be, in my opinion, for a 55 gallon aquarium, Guayanacara especially the Guayanacara stergiosi that we have in our fish room. Right now, they're in a 33 long, and that's about the same length and width as a 55. It's just not as tall. The Guayanacara are awesome fish. They're not very aggressive. You can see here they've got very interesting color and a lot of that iridescent look that you're looking for. They don't get very large, so they're going to max out right around four and a half to five inches or so. The fins are really nice, especially as they get older, and they've just got a really cool and chilled out personality that's going to get along fairly well with most other types of community fish. Now, if there are downsides to this fish, they do dig a little bit. Nothing drastic, they're not gonna rearrange your tank, but every once in a while they may dig a little pit, especially if you've got a pair that is interested in breeding. And of course, that can be another slight downside. If they do start to breed in, an, in a community aquarium, they may become a little bit more aggressive trying to make sure that fish don't get into their breeding area. Now, of all the fish we talk about in, on this list, they're probably the hardest to find. And so when you go to the stores, the pet stores, you may not see them as often. Looking for them online, they might be a little bit more expensive. But overall, these are fantastic fish. Number four on the list is one of my favorites. I always like to include a garami, if at all possible, because who doesn't love garamis? But which one would we recommend for your 55 gallon? The pearl garami. Pearl garamis are beautiful. Their coloring is stunning and garamis are just so much fun to watch. So what are some great things about pearl garami? Well, they're not aggressive. So if you have a nice community tank going and you wanna have not a lot of aggressive fish in your tank and just kind of relaxing to watch, definitely a pearl garami is a great pick. They're not aggressive and they're really very relaxing to watch. They also have beautiful color. The patterning on them is just absolutely beautiful. The name Pearl Grammy kind of gives it away as to that kind of shimmer that they have. And then also you can keep multiples. That's right, if you've got a Pearl Grammy, you can keep a few in there and that's even more fun to watch. They also come with a great size. So they max out at maybe four inches, which is a perfect size for a centerpiece fish in that tank big enough for you to see them, but not too big that they will get kind of cramped in that tank. They're also the cheapest fish on this list. Now there are a couple of things to keep in mind if you do choose the Pearl Garami. They're not gonna give you a whole lot of activity. Maybe a good thing, maybe a bad thing, depending on what kind of fish you're looking for. If you are looking for that relaxing kind of tank, they don't really have a lot of movement, which would be kind of good. Nice and relaxing to watch. And also, don't keep other types of garamis. Not really recommended. If you're gonna keep a pearl garami, just keep a few pearl garamis with that garami. Just don't mix the garamis. Number three on our list is a really awesome fish. Check out these electric blue acara. These are great fish. Absolutely love them. Full of color. And I think that is one of the number one things when it comes to these fish. Of all the fish we have here, this is right up near the top of the list in terms of overall color. You're gonna see these from across the room in your 55 gallon aquarium. And they have a really nice peaceful personality about them. They're probably also the largest fish we talk about in on this list at around five to six inches. And they're a little bit thicker bodied than some of the fish that we've talked about. They might also be the most active fish. None of the fish that we're talking about here are overly active. They're not gonna go crazy and swim around the fish tank back and forth constantly like some barbs or maybe guppies would. But these are probably the more active fish on the list. And the nice thing is the cost overall is starting to come down. They're becoming a lot more common in the hobby and therefore they're a little bit easier to find. Now, when you're looking at the potential downsides for your aquarium, 
They may eat some plants. That's certainly something you have to consider. And just like some of the other fish we're going to mention in this video, like the Guanacara we've already mentioned, if you buy more than one and you wind up with a pair and they breed in your aquarium, they might become a little bit more aggressive towards the other fish in your tank. But overall, this is an outstanding fish to at least consider for your centerpiece for your 55 gallon aquarium. Number two on the list is a fan favorite for sure. And for the 55 gallon, why not try an angelfish? Who doesn't love angelfish? It's probably one of the most popular fish that pull people into the hobby. And in the 55 gallon, yes, you can have an angelfish. Why? One of the biggest benefits is that unusual shape. They, are, they just have a very unique shape. They'll max out maybe four inches, but that can be 12 inches tall. So that makes a really good size for your 55 gallon. The other thing that's really awesome is the variety. They come in different colors. They come in different fin varieties. So not only can you get that unusual shape, but you can have a choice of different types. They are peaceful. They're a very uh, graceful sort of fish to kind of float around your tank. Really the most relaxing fish that you could probably watch float around your tank. And then they live probably the longest in this list. Eight to 10 years would not be uncommon. So once you get that fish and you wanna name him and he's your best friend, you will have him for quite some time. The cost is reasonable also in uh, comparison to the other fish in this list. Now a few things to keep in mind if you do choose an angelfish for your 55 gallon. One of the biggest things to keep in mind for the angelfish is breeding. That's right, if you have some angelfish and they pair up, they are gonna be very, very protective. So you wanna keep, in, keep that in mind depending on who else you have in the tank. They will definitely be put in their place by this pair of angelfish. Also keep in mind, if you have multiple males, they may fight. So if that's not something that you want to watch in your tank to cause a little bit of a commotion, don't keep multiple males in that tank. And the last thing to keep in mind, if you choose an angelfish for your aquarium, that would be the other occupants in that tank. If at all possible, make sure that you don't have any fin nippers, any type of species that are known to nip on the fins of other fish. You don't want to keep those with your angelfish because guess what they have huge fins to be nipped now i'm not sure this last one is going to be a surprise to anybody the number one most awesome centerpiece fish that i would put in a 55 gallon aquarium and that's geophagus tapajos look at these fish look at their colors they're absolutely outstanding unlike a lot of the other geophagus these ones are on the smaller side they're usually going to max out right around five inches the other cool thing is both the males and the females have this awesome color. It's just the males have a little bit more interesting fins, especially the trailers coming off of their dorsal fin and their tail fins. Now, the other really awesome thing is they are relatively peaceful like the other fish that we have featured in this video, and they have outstanding personality. And I would say of all the fish we talked about here, they may actually have the best personality of the top five that we featured in this video. Now there are some things to consider. Again, just like the other cichlids we've been talking about, if you get a breeding pair, they're gonna become slightly more aggressive towards other fish in the tank. You also have to consider, if you have more than one male in a 55 gallon tank, you're gonna to wanna to have some structure, some line of sight breaks for those fish because sometimes they will spar a little bit with one another. Now, certainly one of the main downsides to this fish compared to all the other ones we've talked about so far is the cost. It's not uncommon to see males that are three or four inches, somewhere between 30 to $40 each. And so that's gonna be a significant consideration when you're looking at the geophagus compared to other fish. The other thing too is of the fish we've talked about on this list, they might be the hardest to find with maybe the exception of the Guayanacara, but these fish are not something you're gonna just walk in any pet store and find. Usually with the Pearl Garamis, it's gonna be that way. Often with your electric blue Acara at this point, you're gonna see them pretty much in most pet stores and certainly angelfish, just about any time you walk into a pet store, you're gonna see those. But the Guayanacara, and again, these geophagus may be a little bit more difficult to find at your pet store. I would love to hear from you. 
down in the comments section below any really awesome centerpiece fish you've kept in your 55 gallon aquarium. Like I said, we've got those species profiles down in the description. Well, I'll put one down here right in the middle as well if you want to learn more information about the fish featured in this video. Really appreciate you being here and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.